Shalom once again. This is Apostle Taha coming back at you with the truth, giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakha Kodash. And I'm going to title, entitle this video This is Why Brothers Don't Like to Put Up Hebrew Videos or Videos Dealing with the Hebrew. And you see this screenshot here of what is the 6 6 mark. And you see uh, four videos, and then you see next um, to the right of your screen related channels, and um, you the first the video to the to to your left is a uh, Israelite man neither neither shall a man put on a woman's and it says garment. Um, it was just put up and um, it has 53 hits. It's going to easily have more than 500 hits by this time tomorrow. Um, and next to that is uh, the title, the, vi the, the, the video, the video's title is Atheist, Atheist Author David Fitzgerald Slaps the Shit Out of Vocab Malone. Um, and it go, further goes on to say, um, by his statement, and that's going to have a lot of hits. Um, then you have uh, Ezekiel the third, Ezekiel three and one in the Hebrew. Now that word Hebrew, you want to make a Israelite run, put up a video and put the word Hebrew in it. You know. Hebrew to the to you Israelites, most of you out there, is like putting up a a, a clove of garlic to a, a vampire. And you you y'all are Hebrews, man. I mean, how many times have you heard myself or Apostle Gabar or Apostle um Rakal, Apostle Orion Lab or any of the uh the uh elders in good standing because you got elders out there that call themselves elders that, that are not in good standing when you see us teach a lot of times we'll sit, we'll read a, a passage from the, one of the scriptures a verse from one of the scriptures and we'll and we'll come across a word and we'll say um okay that word right there in the hebrew this is the hebrew word and it means xyz like, for example, in uh, Habakkuk 2, when it speaks about uh, he ladeth himself uh, in thick, was it thick clay? And when you read the word clay, now if you don't know the Hebrew, you know, you're going to make up something. Well, clay is red and Esau is red and that makes, that, see that further proves that Esau is the red man because clay is red. Well, clay, some clay is gray. Well, that word for uh, for clay, thick clay, is a batyat, which means depth. So it's talking about America. America, they they say that America is in uh, twenty trillion dollars in debt. It really it's closer to two two hundred trillion. When you put all the uh, what do you call it, the future liability? It's it's two it's two hundred trillion. So this place is done. There's no way they can pay that off. And um it's damn near impossible impossible to pay off the interest, and that's all they're doing is paying off the interest. And and that and they're paying it to the um the super elite through the um the, the the Federal Reserve Bank and other banks, mainly the 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 Federal Reserve Bank, or banking system. Anyway, getting back to my subject, right? When we come across certain scriptures and certain words, we'll say, "Well, this word is from the Hebrew word meaning this, and that word is from the Hebrew word meaning that." And sometimes we'll say, "And this is from the Greek word meaning this." Why do we know these things? Because we study when we when we read the scriptures. We may go into the blue letter, 
or um, some other source. Because sometimes, you know, we found out with the blue letter that the blue letter go goes off quite a, quite a bit. So a lot of times we'll go to the blue letter and we'll read a word in Hebrew and we'll say, well, look, it really should say this. Now, there's some of you out there that get lost trying to deal with the blue letter. There's some of you out there that, that you know, somebody question you on the Hebrew. And I'm not saying we speak fluent Hebrew, but we know Hebrew. We know certain Hebrew words. And besides, y'all are Hebrew Israelites. I don't know if they went up there and told you. So a Hebrew at least supposed to know some Hebrew words. Anyway, you got this video, Ezekiel 3, verse 1, in the Hebrew, and there's 97 uh, views. And that was put up a couple of hours before these other videos that I just mentioned. Then you have Revelation 6. Nine, 6 verse 9 to 17 ICBM WW3 The War of Armageddon and that has almost 600 views and that had, hadn't even put up been put up for uh, 15 hours and like I said this is, this is why when guys go up to put up the reason why the, guy, the people that the men that put up videos deal featuring the Hebrew are guys that know some Hebrew man and we're not putting it up for ourselves we're not saying well let me put this up so I can remind myself to no we're putting it up for you brothers that don't know the Hebrew and you guys out there you're not you're not dealing with the Hebrew man and a lot of you guys don't know you a lot of you guys don't know how to deal with uh link up secular history with the prophecies in, in, in the scriptures man and you got a lot of camps out there, they'll go on a prophecy and they'll read it. And yeah, this means this and that's Antiochus Epiphanes. And if I ask you certain questions about that time period in history, you'll be lost. A lot of you guys out there are, are motherfucking mockingbirds, man. And you know how to play the game. You got a lot of guys out there that know how to play the Israelite game. Like for example, I'm gonna give you an example. What if we uh, suspend a guy or kick a guy out? What is that man supposed to do? Is he supposed to become a scoffer and show how, you know, prove to the world how wicked we are? Or is he supposed to, uh, you know, pick up his cross and um, daily and do the work. You know, we might kick out a guy that, 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 that might be of the elect. So that guy that's of the elect, what is he going to do? He's going to continue in the things that he was taught. And of whom he learned them from. You know, you get suspended, you just, you just chill out. You just go back into the world and do what you do. And you look at the calendar, oh, there's two months left before they let me back in. And then you get back into that lineup. And that's an act. That's, that's, that's all, all that is, is an act, man. Ju um, July 2007, that's when we put up our first video on YouTube. And when we put off, when we started putting up videos, we put up videos like there was no tomorrow and it caused it put wings on these other Israelites back from one west to come back out and, and do this thing because if we hadn't did it you know you had um, truth be told you had IUIC before they were called IUIC you had Nate had videos he had very few videos up there and GOCC had a couple of videos here and there and I believe Zabak had a couple of videos. They would put up some videos. That's back going back to the days of a uh, uh, priest, uh, um, Bun Lawyer. 
you know, all those guys that you see, we, you know, I'll say this, we at, we at the One Westers, the former One Westers, which are bro broken up into many groups, the, the whole focus is on us because we have the truth. The teachers and the high priests that taught us, starting with King Masha, and, um, which by the way, none of them camps um, acknowledge that Masha is King David. But they did it when they was back at One West. When they said, how many believe that Masha is King David? Yes, yeah, she's King David. Them guys ain't teaching that. We're the only ones that's teaching that, man. Anyway, going back to the Hebrew, right? I'm going to... I'm going to, um, and, and you know what I see in these, in, I'm talking about men in GMS, I see the same pattern as back at the One West days. You got a lot of clickism going on. You got a lot of niggerism going on. You got a lot of guys that are niggers all week, and then they become Hebrew Israelite prophets on whatever Friday or Saturday or whenever, whatever day you go out. And a lot of you guys are going to, and a lot of guys in GMS fell off. And when you count the guys, we, we've been doing this thing for 10 plus years. How many guys came into this thing and fell, fell off and just went back into the world and some became scoffers? They'll make a million and one videos or a thousand and one videos about us and not one video on Esau. Esau gets a pass. Not vi not one video on the Hebrew. How many of these scoffers do do videos on the Hebrew? Anyway, I'm gonna and the most I gonna get rid of a lot of you damn niggas, man. You know. Okay, this is um Ecclesiasticus, which is the prologue of the wisdom of. It says Jesus, but the word there is Yahawashai, um, the son of Serach. So we know this is not talking about our our Lord and Savior. Anyway, um, I'm not going to read the whole prologue. prologue I'm just going to go down to where it says pertaining. It says pertaining to learning and wisdom to the intent that those which are desirous to learn. Oh, and even this guy was a former member of uh, ISUPK came up to the Chicago camp and he was praising the brothers for the fact that they knew the history and they knew prophecy and they go into the Hebrew. Well, we're known for that, man. And are addicted, uh, addicted to these things. Let me read that again. Pertaining to learning and wisdom to the intent that those which are desirous to, to learn... And I was speaking to Apostle Gabar about a week ago concerning the three videos a week and the three videos a day. And I said, you got to approach this thing. When you come into this truth and you, and you open up the scriptures and you begin to learn, this is your new woman. And this is the finest woman that you ever had in your life. So I asked Gabar, I said, if you had a woman that was super fine, you know, caramel skin, perfect booty, no cellulite, legs, se everything sexy, smell, smell like a bed of roses, you know, or, or, or a jar of hot honey. <laughs> Having a little fun here. Anyway, she's just super fine. How many times you going to be popping her? He said, I'm going to be popping her at least three times a day. And you, you brothers know, you can relate to this. You brothers of a particular age. Hey, when you get older, your woman ain't all that much of a big a big deal. But when you're at a certain age, you're dealing with women when you're in your 20s and your 30s. You know, when you're teens, you, you're discovering sex. But when you're in your 20s and your 30s, that's when you, you know, and you, got a ch you got a chick and then you got maybe a, another woman on the side. Or maybe another two women on the side. And you hop on the plane and, and uh, you know, 
or hop on a train and, and go states away to, to, to get with that woman. Well, guess what? That's the way you're supposed to approach the scriptures. When you read the book of Solomon, for you dummies out there, the book of Solomon has nothing to do with no goddamn woman, man. What he's talking about is the scriptures. He's talking about wisdom. And wisdom is a woman. Or wisdom is a spirit of a woman. Saying we don't give a damn about women. We, did, we give a damn about wisdom. Which comes in the spirit of a woman. When the scriptures refer to wisdom, it refers to wisdom as a she. Anyway, let me read on. And part of that wisdom is the Hebrew. It says, and are addicted to, the, to these things. When you get a super fine woman, you're going to be addicted. That's going to be like a drug to you. It said, might profit much more in living according to the law. And like I, I had I met up with um, Apostle Gabor and Apostle Rhymelop earlier, and they rolled up in, in, the, in the truck, and they looked, and I told, I said, you guys look like two black good old boys. You know, them, them Edomites down south, which, which a lot of them are jakes. They have those big ass beards. And I kind of laughed and shit, you know. And then here I am with a beard, and they had them, they, I mean, you can see the beards. And it's obvious when you're look, looking at them, if they're driving down the road, people notice that. That must be some type of cult. They must be into something. They all got beards. They might be Israelites. But there's a certain look that, that an Israelite... You can't hide yourself, man. There's a certain look that you have where they know you're into something. Like one of my old, old so-called supervisors, but you don't know, I'm not going to mention the name. He used to see me come in to work and he used to see Gabar. Then he said, you guys are a part of something. <laughs> you guys are a part of something. You, you, you're a part of something. You, 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 just, you, don't, you don't have those beards just for, fa for a fashion statement. And I said, oh, what you talking? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Anyway, let's read on, man. I'm all over the place. It says, wherefore, let me in entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to, par and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come short of some words. <coughs> Excuse me. Which we have labored to interpret. So, for example, when you go into the blue letter, you, you read a passage and you, you want to go deeper into it, and you might go to the blue letter and, and, and go to the Hebrew word. And then you might realize, nah, that they, they went off on that. Let me let me search further. It says, um, so it says, we have labored, so this is work, to interpret for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue, which is English, have not the same force in them, and not only these things, but the Lord itself and the prophets. Because a lot of y'all claim that you're prophets. If you're a prophet, you're supposed to know the whole book. If I say break down Daniel the 11 chapter, you suppose, yeah, that, that means this, that, and the other. And the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. So stop being afraid of Hebrew, man, if you guys claim to be prophets and and great and mighty teachers and uh, you know, men of the Lord. What we're doing is what the prophets of old did, man. Scriptures say, search the scriptures. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.